Hello, my friends. Very nice to meet you again. Today, we have a right triangle, A, B, C. Its inscribed circle is tangent to the hypotenuse AC at point D. Next to the triangle, we use the lengths of AD and CD as the side lengths to plot two squares A, E, F, D, and D, G, H, C, respectively. Can you prove that the triangle A, B, C, and the triangle E, D, H have the equal area? Why not give a try? and we will come back soon. Let's first name some lengths. We name the length of side, EA as S. So, AD is also equals to S. The diagonal, ED equals to square root of 2 times S. We call the contact between the leg, AB and the inscribed circle as P. So, AP is also equal to S. We call the length of side, HC as T. For the same reason, DC equals to T. DH equals to square root of 2 times T. And the distance between the contact Q and C is also equals to T. At last, we name the length of BP as R. So BQ also equals to R. Before taking a look at the area of the first triangle, let's refer to the Pythagorean theorem. The square of S plus D equals to the square of S plus R add the square of D plus R. Expanding it, we have square of S plus square of T plus twice S by T equals to square of S plus twice S by R plus square of R plus square of T plus twice D by R and plus square of R. We remove the common terms on both sides. So as to obtain, twice s by t equals to twice r times the summation of s and t, plus twice square of r. This equation in the red frame is the key point to calculate the area of this triangle in the following. And in fact we have several ways to do it. For example, according to the area formula of right triangle, its area is equal to half of the summation of s and r multiplied by the summation of d and r. So it equals to the half summation of s by d and r times s plus d and r square. Putting the equation in red frame into the previous result, we will have the area of the triangle equals to half of s times d plus s times t. So it is equals to s times t. Alternatively, we can also connect the center of the inscribed circle to each vertex, as well as each contact. So that we have six small right triangles, and all of them has a leg whose length is equal to r. Therefore, we can calculate the summation of those sick right triangles as half of r multiplied by the summation of twice r plus twice s and plus twice t. It equals to r times the summation of s and t, plus r square. According to the equation in the red frame, this area is equal to s times t, as well. Now, let's calculate the area of the second triangle. Since the angle, e, D, F, equals to 45 degrees. So is the angle G, D, H. The segment C, D is perpendicular to D, H. So this is also a right triangle. Therefore, its area equals to half of square root of 2 times S multiplied by square root of 2 times T. So it is also equals to S times T. Putting them together, we thus prove that those two triangles have the equal area. In fact, we can plot the inscribed circle of the second triangle, and find the contact, and then plot the two squares accordingly, and get the third triangle. If we iterate such operations, we can get a series of triangles. And obviously, all of them have the equal area. However, unless the original one is an isosceles right triangle, the inscribed circles will become smaller and smaller. Do you know the reason? Why not think about it? And let's continue our discussions next week.